they really should make these adjustable, but obviously they don't. But that would have been a good idea. So this was a good idea as well. Hello, Benya. Uh, do you want to say hello? Hello. Having breakfast too in the dark. Okay, because of the lighting problem, the sun coming up and all that. I want to talk about hair and how my hair is older than Charlie McDonald. Um, I haven't had my hair cut for 22 years. Now you have okay. donated, or comb, well, I don't know, comb it sometimes. Um, you have donated your hair to Locks of Love, and obviously, whereas some people may not agree with that, it still makes sense to cut an amazing head of hair off uh, for charity purposes, and I haven't done that. And in a way, I feel bad about that because it's something that I could take advantage of. Um, Nobody wants your hair, Rob. <laughs> okay. Um, now, I'm addressing this to you because I think it's important to speak to people personally, although I'm obviously anyone else watching YouTube can watch this as well. It's not a private video. Um, yeah, I'm a man with long hair. Now, being a man with long hair is a lot easier, I think, than being a man who wears leggings. Uh, or a man who wears pink and all that stuff um, because it's slightly commoner for men to have long hair than the rest of the stuff, or actually quite a bit commoner. Um, why have I got long hair? Well, I suppose one thing is that it saves money on hairdressing, but that's not the main reason. I actually just like having long hair. Um, and I actually feel quite guilty about hairdressing because I feel like, how much money have I not given to hairdressers over this time? I mean, I could look at it in terms of how much money have I saved hairdressers over this from hairdressers over this time, or I could like just get a pair of clippers and shave it all off, which would make my head look like Crichton from Red Dwarf. So I'm not going to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm very attached to my hair, and I'm also very concerned that I really, really don't want to go bald. Now, if I bend my head over like that. I reckon there's the beginnings of a ball patch there, and I find that a bit worrying. Um, so, uh, I think possibly if I did go bald, I would get rid of it all. Um, now, concerning long hair, um, Rastafarians uh, don't cut their hair because they feel that it's sort of God's will that they have long hair, and also that there are various verses in the Bible that say that you should have long hair which obviously are not in the bits written by Paul, for a start. Um, I sort of feel like there is a reason why we have hair that grows this long, and it doesn't really make sense to cut it, because if you cut it, well, you're sort of doing something that isn't, uh, well, it's not natural in a way. Having said that, you may notice that my chin is nearly free of stubble, and I do in fact shave. So there's a sort of gender issue there, and it is to do with my gender dysphoria as well, I admit, uh, because otherwise I'd just have a beard as well. And in the past, I have had a beard, and it's a bit of a rubbish beard because it tends to snap off, and it's a bit crap, basically. So I'm not going to do that. And I say crap on YouTube, I'm not supposed to do that either. Um, so I think the reason I have long hair is because, firstly, it's partly to do with my gender dysphoria. Secondly, I think it suits me. Uh, also, I have really huge ears. If you look at those ears, they are really, really big and they stick out quite a lot. And most people don't realise that. And that was the main reason initially why I stopped cutting my hair. Now, I last cut my hair in 1991 when I finished my master's at Warwick uh, in order to graduate. And since then, the only thing that's happened is the occasional split end has been cut off. Now, this is not the same hair, of course, because hair has a three-year life cycle. And so the maximum length of my hair is this long. It's actually a bit longer than it looks, although it is actually surprisingly short, considering I've never cut it uh, or not over the last 22 years. So, um, in fact, this is not my original hair. The maximum age of this hair is three years old. I'm also interested in knowing what happens when it goes grey, and I'm considering vaguely um, whether I might, um, might dye it at that point, uh, but dye it a like, really bright red colour or something. Uh, which apparently Liz didn't know about until now. Um, so there you go. I'm past my uh, four minute limit. So uh, yeah, click down there somewhere to subscribe if you want. Uh, there's another video there. That's yesterday's video about Richard III. And tomorrow's video, which I haven't put there yet, will be up there. And there will also be a random video there. All right. See you tomorrow.